All right, so we have quite the big update on Carowinds today. I was not expecting teasers, I was not expecting blueprints, and I was not expecting construction to be moving this fast. Um, when I saw some of this footage that, um, I think I have three different people's footage in here, so I'll credit them all down below and then throughout the film. Um, so I believe this first one, um, I'm going to credit down below. It, it's Carowinds Cameras. Um, something. I'm definitely going to credit down below. All three of you, thanks so much for sending me in footage. I'm so happy you guys want me covering this project. I couldn't be more thrilled with the amount of people asking me to cover construction projects around North America. It is so fun and I am learning a lot doing so. Um, so one thing I wanted to point out a while ago because I saw a lot of it is this coaster is 100% going to have a lot of theming. I can tell by the amount of water pipes going in. I can tell by amount the amount of pre-construction that is going on. In fact, this looks like it might have more theming than even that to Canada's Wonderlands coaster, which is extremely shocking. Um, so from what I can tell, from what I've seen and all that, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of trees added to the area. It looks like there's gonna be a lot of water features added to the area. And I'm expecting some sort of county um, farm feel to this um, coaster as well. And I think a lot of you are heading down that direction um, too. So that's pretty cool. So just to go over a little bit, um, construction's definitely picked up on the water features. They've drilled in peaking holes in the walls for teasing, um, which is super cool. I wish we had that at Canada's Wonderland. But then again, I say that and uh, we have a pretty good view of the construction from where we stand. So as many of you know, teasing has started. I'm slightly jealous on that. <laughs> so the teasing campaign for the Carowinds coaster has started and it is very odd. Some predict they are trying to mislead you into a different direction. Some feel like they're leading you down the um, GCI route, uh, Mystic Timbers kind of route, and I disagree slightly. I honestly think that they're hinting at a county style ride or coaster in this area. Obviously it's a coaster and it's going to have possibly maybe a barn themed station, which would look really cool. Um, and it's it's honestly like starting to shape up to be a really epic project. I'm extremely intrigued as to what this area is going to look like. I want to see renderings. As you can see, some of the peepholes they installed and these peepholes actually kind of worked against them. As you're going to see, we have some pictures of blueprints um, later on in the video. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they would install peepholes, to be honest, where they're storing blueprints. Um, I'm a little like, why did that occur? Um, so the blueprints we're going to show are from FG Photographs on Instagram. Again, you're going to see it linked in here, and you're also going to see it linked down below. Um, so he was able, through the peeking holes, not anything sketchy, just to snap a shot of some blueprints. We're not going to show anything like too over the top or anything. We are just gonna show a basic blueprint, doesn't show too much, basically theming and the station area. Um, but yeah, back to the teasers. So I definitely believe we're looking at some sort of farm um, kind of theme to the coaster and then incorporate the Copperhead Strike as well. And you're looking at a really awesome themed coaster. I mean, add in those water features that it looks like they're installing too. And wow, I couldn't believe the amount of theme in this coaster is shaping up to look is looking like is shaping up to have. Um, that sentence didn't make sense, but again, I filmed these things live. Um, so we build barns. A lot of people, again, were thinking Mystic timber, Timbers. Is this gonna be a GCI? Some people were saying, no, we know it's going to be a mock double launch coaster. It's going to have inversions. It looks epic. Um, and just wait till you see a bit of the station area. It definitely confirms those blueprints we saw before were real. Um, so I wanted to incorporate this keep out this means you sign. I strongly feel like this message is going to start applying to this channel. Um, I feel like we are just accidentally, and I'm using the word accidental because we honestly are accidentally coming across blueprints and kind of like teasers and things that, you know, maybe should have been a little better hit. Um, but yeah, it's not our fault. We are filming everything and getting shots of everything in public view. We are not doing anything legal so it is fair game to share some information um but yes so here is the first blueprint um this is super zoomed in so it is a little hard to read again this is from fg photographs on instagram you'll see it in the next picture we showed the instagram that you can go check out 
um, he, through a peak hole that Carowinds itself installed, was able to... <laughs> I'm laughing because I, I just find that whole scenario kind of funny. Was able to snap a photograph of the blueprints. <laughs> um, so the blueprints definitely show what looks like, again, I could be wrong, the launch, the station, um, and the... Um, or the break run, the station, and correct me down below if I'm wrong, again, when I'm covering other projects, I want you guys to call me out on any mistakes I make on covering the projects. That is why I'm doing this. Um, I want to make sure I get better at it. I want to understand the parts as a whole. But it looks like you can see that inline twist out of the um, station. And that looks super cool. I mean, I was hoping for something like that on the dive coaster or whatever coaster Canada's Wonderland's getting. And I think it's phenomenal that Carowinds is going to have that by the looks of it. I'm assuming this is the break run station and then the turn and then inline twist. There is the link to his Instagram. Again, he was able to take the photos legally through a peeping hole that Carowinds installed. Um, so I guess that kind of sucks for them um, a little bit, uh, but they might want to move the blueprints. Um, I would move them ASAP because it looks like no one got too much information out of the blueprints. And uh, now would be the time to maybe move them into a different location if you don't want people finding out the layout. Or maybe they just don't care because unfortunately the blueprints were leaked forever ago on this project. Um, we know that news, media, and people get a hold of things now from permits and just finding things in the park. And it might come to a time where parks need to find a better way to hide things if they really want to hide it. Um, from the public and the enthusiasts, because it's not an enthusiast's fault if they're stumbling around the park and so happen to come across blueprints. We all know that someone is eventually going to snap a picture of them if they're out in plain view. So definitely, I would hide these if I were you, Carowinds, and you're seeing this video. Move them away from the peepholes. Let the construction crew know that you installed peepholes if they don't know and that people can see these plain as day. Anyways, back to the construction project. So it is definitely looking to be an amazing project. Anyone who is a Carowinds fan or an enthusiast, you are so lucky you are getting a mock double launch coaster. I couldn't be more jealous of you, and I honestly think you guys are gonna win the best new coaster of 2019. We'll have to see other projects. We know that Magic Mountain is working on something as well, but I just have a sneaky feeling that Carowinds may have this in the bag with the theming. Now it all depends on what Magic Mountain has up its sleeve. We are now hearing that maybe Magic Mountain isn't getting a dive coaster and that they're probably getting a mock launch coaster as well. So is this the year of the battle of the mock coasters? Cause that sounds like something out of a movie. Like are we gonna, who's gonna have the better mock coaster? Who do you guys think? Is it gonna be Magic Mountain's mock coaster, or is it gonna be Carowinds' mock coaster? Which one is better? Which one do you think is gonna be better? Is it gonna come down to theming? Is it gonna come down to maybe one's gonna be dueling? Who knows? There's so many rumors swirling around about Magic Mountain because that project has been hidden really well, and they're just starting to do some subtle teasers. So no one really knows much about that project. I mean, Six Flags does a really great job on hiding their projects from everyone. It's really unfortunate, you know, that Sometimes the uh, projects at Cedar Fair get leaked. I know that a lot of the times media just kind of go in and search for permits and enthusiasts as well. And, and it may come down to there might be more of a following under Cedar Fair enthusiast wise. And maybe that's why they have a hard time hiding projects, which is unfortunate. Um, and which is why when I do find things at Canada's Wonderland, I do try and hide some things. I don't want to fully leak. I never want to be that channel that, you know, slaps the park in the face. But I do also need to report on what I find and see in the park. That is what my channel is about and what it always will about be about. Um, but yeah, I really do wanna cover more stuff on Carolyn, so keep sending me in stuff, guys. I am so thankful that you guys are sending me in stuff and trusting me with covering your project. Um, comment down below on any of your thoughts on this Carowinds mock coaster as it looks awesome. Now I do want to touch on something. So on our Instagram we are starting something new. It's called Control Our Videos. Vote on our Instagram story polls, which we will do before we are going to make a video and have a say in our rumor and speculation videos. For example, back to Cedar Point, I just put up a poll as we're going to do a video now with them versus Magic Mountain. What do you think is coming in 2020? Is it a Woody or is it a Flyer? And then if I'm presenting, for example, let's say I say flyer and you guys say Woody, I have to present the counter argument against myself. 
And the reason I want to do this is I want my videos to be more about you guys. If I'm saying something, I don't want it to be the end all, say all. I want you guys to have a say and have the chance to counter me or even support me. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed that idea. Um, it'll definitely start in our next video. So go on over to Instagram, Amusement Insiders, and vote in our polls. Thanks for watching. Give the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, again, head on over to our Instagram. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye.